Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tiki bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over MDM, mobile device management. What is that? How does it work? And um, what you will be doing as a level one technician, level one person. Um, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, do desktop support. We just talk about how to get into IT. I also do live training as well on the weekends. So as always, uh, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. I do have my coffee with me right now, so you see right over here my CapTech coffee. So we're gonna have a good coffee. We're gonna dive right into it, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen with you and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, give me a second. So let's go into share, share screen to, all right, there we go. So hopefully you see my screen. So I have my virtual machine up. There's nothing to do with this today. Well, actually, I'm gonna go over this right now real quick, but I have to show you the PowerPoint slide first. So what is MDM? MDM is mobile device management. Um, it's, a, it's basically an app that you install on someone's, on someone's mobile phone or tablet. Um, some laptops might have it, which is kind of weird, but you might see it on the laptop. So basically it's mobile device management, handheld devices such as tablets, mobile phones, usually found in iOS devices or Android devices. Um, people that have iPhones and Androids, um, the majority of jobs I have worked, most of them use iPhones. Um, it's IT management. So what does it let you do? So basically you could install um, the app itself, um, which I'm going to go over different types of MDM apps. Um, and it has certificates on it. And the certificates, some of the certificates allow for VPN. So you could do VPN. You could go to the intranet page, like the company website. Um, certificates allow you to um, connect to Wi-Fi automatically when, when the MDM profile is installed on someone's mobile phone. So it really depends on the company you work for. It really depends how they have it set up. But usually a certificate allows you to do certain things on that device once, once that app or that MDM is installed, if that makes sense. Um, obviously, as a person that works in IT, you have the ability to wipe and delete the phone. You have the ability to unlock the phone using, using the, the MDM application, like the apps I'm gonna go over right now, they, some of these apps allow you to do that. And then everything that, every, some of these like phones like the iPhone or the Android, um, MDM is uh, containerized. It's actually part of a security group on Active Directory. It depends how you set it up in your company. Um, but also part of MDM is that you can install other apps inside of it. Like, for example, like if you have a company, Microsoft Intunes, you can install 365 apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and containerize everything and put everything together. Obviously, I'm not going to go over that in this video. I'm going to focus more on the level one stuff, stuff that you need to know, if that makes sense. So... Common MDM apps, there's Mobile Iron, there is Moss 360, there is Man Manage Engine, there is Microsoft Intense, which is what I mentioned about, and then also there's uh, Apple AirWatch. So all these apps, they are able to control the mobile phone, whether it's an iOS device or an Android device. And then when you in install this, this app on the phone, um, you could actually delete the phone, you could wipe the phone, um, you can unlock someone's, someone forgot someone's passcode or something gets locked out, it can unlock the phone with the passcode. Um, you might be able to change the passcode. Um, some of these apps even allow you to track the phone and tell you where the phone is exactly with GPS. Like it literally, like if the phone is on, it has to be on. If it, the phone is on for mobile iron, because I use mobile iron, I use Moss360, by the way, and I use Company Intunes, by the way. Those are the three apps that I have used. Um, for mobile iron, you could go into um, the settings on mobile iron in the console, and you could actually see where the phone is located and where was the last time the phone updated and everything. You can see where it's located and who has the phone and where is it. And like, I live in New York, so it tells you like what street is, is the phone on and everything, which is kind of cool. I've never seen that before. So that's just an example. But the important thing about this is understanding how to install the app because you are working from home right now. So you have to walk a user on how to install the app. You might have documentation for it. You may not. If you don't, I suggest you create a documentation or tell your manager or whoever to create a documentation. So that way it's a lot easier for you guys and you don't get a thousand phone calls about the same issue. Can you install email on my phone? Can you install email on my phone? My email is not working. Can you, can you help me install email? I just got a brand new phone, you know? So if, instead, of, instead of dealing with all that, you should have documentation. You could just send, send instructions to a user or a client on, on, on their email. It could go on their laptop and like, oh, I, I send you a PDF on how to install this. So follow the instructions along and blah, 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 you know, and just, Give them like a easy step by step of how to install it. Obviously, if you don't have that, and you just walk them through it, like 
have patience with them and walk them through it and tell them to go to the web, whatever company website you're, you're no, it depends how you're set up, whatever company website you go to, go to that website, download the app from um, the Apple store, download the app from the Google play store or download the app from a web browser that they're, you're sending them to, to download the MDM profile. And that's basically what it is. Obviously I will get more into detail with this. Um, you need to know this, by the way, if, if you're doing level one help desk, you might encounter this. Not everyone might encounter this, but some people might encounter this where you have to set up company email on someone's phone and you have to walk them through on how to install the certificate, how to install the MDM profile and how to actually set up their email on their phone. And then you have to walk them through on how to, how to like basically look at their calendar, find their calendar, uh, um, import their contacts from the work company, um, walk them through on how to, how to send emails, um, how to set up the email and stuff like that. So all these things you need to know if you're doing level one support, obviously the back end stuff like the apps and the certificates and all that, don't worry about any of that. Just worry about the front end stuff. If that makes sense, you're doing level one support. So common level one issues. So the issue you're going to have, these are issues that I have seen in all my jobs that I work. Um, sometimes the, the certificate gets, um, messed up or the MDM profile gets messed up. So all you literally got to do is you got to run, you got to go into the general settings. Um, you scroll all the way down and you look for profile device management and you just delete the profile, which is what I have on the screenshot right over here. So in the iOS device, you literally go into general, the profile device management, and just delete the profile and then have them start over again and reinstall the app. Another issue you're going to encounter is if someone, if someone um, basically resets their password, they, 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 they change their password on their computer, but they forget to change it on their mobile device and then they get locked out and then they get locked out again and then they get locked out again. And you're like, you're like, they're like, why am I getting locked out? And they're getting locked out because they forgot to change their password on their mobile phone. So whenever you change your, your password on your computer, um, if you have MDM, MDM company email on multiple devices, make sure you change the password on all those other devices prior to resetting the password on your laptop or computer, because since you're using company email, it's going to ask you to authenticate or log in again by putting the latest password on your phone or on your device, if that makes sense. So you need to understand that. So obviously you're going to get, you're going to get a call by someone that is not tech savvy. And they're like, my account keeps getting locked out. I keep getting, I keep getting prompt to put in my credentials. Why is it not working? And they're, they're locked out, obviously. So, Obviously it's because they're locked out. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy. It's just because they're locked out and you just got to help them out. So how do you, how do you resolve that issue? I'm going to go on AD. These are only, these literally are the only things you need to know if you're doing level one, how to install the app, how to unlock an account and how to do password resets. This is all you need to know for level one when you're troubleshooting mobile devices. And obviously the other one is like walking them through how to remove the profile. if They have a profile installed on that phone. Sometimes you have a, a phone, or someone that, that works for two companies and they might have two profile device managements on a phone and you cannot install another one or you cannot install two of them at the same time. And it causes a bunch of problems when they're trying to set up MDM on their phone. So they have to remove the other one or either that or they are working with another company still. So you have to wait till their contract is over with that other company. And then you can install your MDM on your, you know, on your company email, if that makes sense. So, so now that I get, now that I went over all that, um, hopefully this doesn't complicate you too much. Hopefully it's not complicated. It's just changing password, unlocking account, um, walking it through how to, how to set up their email. Obviously with these, with these devices, you could do a lot of different things. It's kind of cool actually, but let me just show you what you should worry about. So obviously I'm going to go into my active directory on my server 2016. I'm going to log in real quick. And literally all you care about as a, as a, as a person that works in it, all you care about is going into tools, um, active users and computers and go to users. And I'm just go to Kevin, for example, right? Go to Kevin, you right click on Kevin, you hit properties, hit account, and then you just unlock the account and you hit okay. I'm just gonna uncheck that. You hit okay. That's all you care about is unlocking the account. Obviously when they change their password, they might get locked up because they forgot to change it on their mobile device. It's not their fault. They don't know. So, um, most companies, what they do is um, you change the password on the, on the computer and then uh, people just change their password on the phone. They know how to do it. They get like a little prompt or a box. Um, we, need your, we need your up-to-date password or we need your exchange password, blah, blah, blah. And then you put the password in, you hit okay, and you're good to go. 
um, some people forget to do this and they keep getting locked out over and over again. So you have to remind people that um, that's the way that's, that's IT support level one. Like IT support level one is, let me, let me go back to my main screen. So IT, IT support level one is like, are you, are, are you like, is your, did you change your password recently? Um, did you, did you change your password recently? Or, or, um, is this, is this keep, why does it keep like, yeah, like, why does this keep happening? Did you change your password recently? Um, did you change your password on your phone? Um, is your, maybe your, maybe your, your password, that password might be expired. You might have to reset their password. Um, and I was not taking any password on their phone or on their device. Um, do you have other devices besides your computer that has your, your credentials on it? You know, like do you have another phone or a tablet or something. Cause sometimes that does happen. Like someone, someone changes their password and then they forget that they have an iPhone and they forget they have an iPad and then they forget they have another iPad. So they have like three devices or four devices that they, 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 they forget to mention and then they're getting locked out because of that. So you just want to you want to clarify that with a user or a client and make sure that all their, pa all their passwords are up to date on all their devices. Otherwise they're going to keep getting locked out. That's literally, that's literally all you care about as a level one guy. And that's it. It's just a simple video on MDM. Obviously, I'm going to go in depth and I'm going to show you how what each app does. I'm going to go over Monster 360 and Mobile Eye and a few other apps. But today, this is just an entry level uh, video on how to use MDM or what is MDM, if that makes sense, and, and what you should worry about if you're doing level one. All right. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. All right. Take care. Peace. Later. Take care.